Hey everyone, welcome to another new series on my channel. This is basically a mailbag series where I open packages to review and discuss components that I receive for my project. I can also do products or components that you may have for me to review. This is nothing new. A lot of vloggers do this on YouTube. This series may seem a little technical, but I'm going to make sure that it is understandable by most of my viewers. The point of this video is to discuss components that may be of use to you someday for your projects. I had posted my address in my previous videos to receive products from you, but so far I have received only one and the rest are all the packages that I had ordered. Okay, let's start with the first package. It's something from Amazon that I had ordered. Peltier module. Some call this as a thermoelectric module as well. When I apply current through the wires, one side of the module becomes really hot and the other side becomes really cold. This can be found in your college and house water coolers. This behavior is due to the semiconductor physics which I will discuss in another video. I am actually making a small refrigerator for my personal use and I plan to use this for its construction. Next, I had ordered a few components from a website called Robo.in. Let's see the components inside. The first one is a Peltier Installation Cotton Washer. Yeah, you guessed it right. It's for the earlier product that I had shown. This basically helps to fix the heat sink to the Peltier module to insulate some of the heat. Next, we got a servo motor tester. I brought this for my DIY drone project. It can be used for testing any servo motor. For now, I have got an SG90 servo motor with me for testing. I have provided 5V through a step down converter from my battery to this tester. Let's switch it on. There are three modes on this tester. Manual, Neutral and Automatic mode. Using the manual mode, I can turn the knob to control the motor to check whether it is working fine. As for the neutral mode, the tester will reset the motor to its neutral position. And for the automatic mode, the tester will rotate the motor shaft between the minimum and maximum positions. I can use this tester to check up to 3 servo motors at a time. Next, we got a WS2811 RGB LED breakout module. This white component that you see on the board has got both the LED and the driver. Just by giving a particular input logic through the D-in pin here, I can generate 16 million colors in various brightness. To test the module, I have connected it to my ESP8266 and I am going to use MicroPython to change the colors. Let's see. There, it goes from red to blue, just like that. Okay, let me try green now. Uh, let me switch on all the colors. It should shift to white. There, I can keep doing this and shift to as many colors as I want. I can even change the brightness programmatically. There. My idea is to understand how it works and use it to create a big graphical display like this one. Okay, now I have got some linear bearings, DC-DC converters, then a couple of heat shrink tubes. I have used all of these in my Dinka Slider project and I have put up the link above. Okay, let's move on to the next package. This is a UFI digital voice assistant which basically runs Amazon's Alexa. I have spoken about this one as well and put up a link above. I have got another component in this parcel. It's a raindrop sensor. It's a bummer when my clothes get wet all over again when I leave them for drying on my terrace. So I thought I would make a small project to detect when it rains so that I can save my clothes. I plan to make a small device and have it connected over Wi-Fi to my system here to receive alerts when it rains. This board is actually a comparator through which I have connected the rain sensor. I can use the potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. I have connected it to the ADC of the Arduino. This sensor actually behaves like a variable resistor. So when it is dry, the resistance will be high and when it gets wet, the resistance drops. 
so i can apply voltage and read the voltage level through the arduino's adc and when it hits a specific threshold i can classify it as rain okay let's assume that we are outside and it is sunny now we have got a few drops of rain falling on my sensor there it has detected the rain now once the water evaporates the sensor will go back to its normal state next i had ordered a few items from robotbanau.com let's see what's inside wow esp32 microcontroller development board i have already spoken about this in numerous videos so i'm just going to leave a link to it above okay let's move on to the next package it's from a website called hacktronics.com this is a door sensor so i have this bad habit of leaving my bathroom lights on all the time so i thought why not do a project to switch on and off the lights automatically now there is something called a read switch inside this module which basically closes the switch when it detects a magnet the wired part of the component has the switch inside and the other component contains a magnet i have connected it to the arduino now when i take the magnet close to the switch we should see a change through the arduino with this we can detect whether the door is open or closed next i got an 8x8 led matrix i have always wanted to construct a spectrum analyzer light like the ones that used to be on the old stereo players which dance based on the music beats i had primarily got it for that reason but i have got another idea i thought it would be nice to connect it to alexa and have a smiley on once it finishes speaking i will probably try it out when i'm free next is an 8 digit 8 segments led module i have already used it in my diwali rocket project and put up the link above next let's open the amazon box Wow, ND filters. It is very useful while shooting outdoor videos. A lot of times the videos gets overexposed while shooting outdoor and we end up struggling to adjust the ISO and aperture settings to get the best shot. So instead, we can use these filters to get the desired results without compromising the shallow depth of field and not having to meddle with the settings of the camera. There are four filters, 2, 4, 8 and 16. The higher the number, the lesser the intensity of the light that enters the camera. Next package contains a nickel chromium wire. This nickel chromium wire has a fascinating property. The melting point of this wire is very high. This is what is used in iron box and hair dryers as a heating element. It is also used in explosives, model rocket igniters. Primarily it is used wherever heating element is required. It is a 24 gauge nichrome wire. Now let me apply a voltage to the wire and use it for slicing thermocol. Wow, feels like a knife slicing through butter. Fine. That's it for this week. I've got plenty more packages to open. Let's do it in the future episodes. Thanks for watching this video. See you again.